My name is Marty Richardson, and I'm the Director of Planning and Development for the Halawasaponi Indian Tribe. For those that will come to the powwow, they'll see a number of different things. They'll see uh, American Indian dancing. Uh, they're here, here and see the singing, uh, American Indian crafts and vendors, and also um, they'll be able to experience um, American Indian food. People from all walks of life come out to our powwow and you know, you get different perspectives, I guess. Some people come and they just enjoy the beautiful outfits. Some people look around and say, wow, look at the people here, you know, because it's a really big event. And I've had people sit and say, what is that dance about? And why are they dancing this dance? And what are the songs saying? There are regional differences to, to powwows. Like for instance, um, out here on the East Coast, we, when, we're, when we're in the arena dancing, we dance clockwise. Now somewhere else, like out in South Dakota, the Dakotas, out that way, they dance the other way around. They dance counterclockwise. So there are different regional uh, differences within, within the powwow. Of course, if you go to a lot of different powwows down in Oklahoma, you hear more southern style singing than you would the northern style. The powwow is, is kind of a vehicle um, to practice our identity, to be proud of our identity, because the powwow, um, although it's more of a modern form of expression of our identity, it's still Indian, and it portrays Indian. Everything about it is Indian. So um, as far as the generations, it's carried over. Uh, a lot of times our people, they'll dance, the, the parents, they, they'll dance, and then when, it, when they have kids, they bring their kids up in, up in the dance circle and also in the singing circle. And through that, they teach them and, and make them proud of who they are as, as American Indian people.